Our next simple program, data sizes.c, simply tells us how many bytes it takes to represent certain common data types. So here I've listed it in my terminal window. You can see the first thing that we do in the main function is define a character a, char a, as well as a pointer to something of type char. So bp is a pointer to char. We defined a short integer c. So short can be something just like long, but now short can use fewer bytes than a standard integer to represent an integer. And short here, short c is equivalent to saying short int c. We've also got an integer d. We've got a long integer e, which is equivalent to saying long int e. We've got a floating point f. We've got a double precision floating point g. We've got a long double precision h. And we've got a pointer to something of type long double. After defining all these variables, all we do is print out the size of each of these data types using the standard function size of. It takes an argument there and reports back the number of bytes in the representation of that argument. And you can see here that it returns a long integer, and that's why we're using percent %2LD instead of percent %2D. If it was just a regular int, it'd be percent %2D, but since it's a long int, we use percent %2LD. Okay, so we've already compiled this program, so let's go ahead and run it. And here's the output. We can see that the size of char is one byte, as we'd expect. The size of char pointer is eight bytes. Now, what that means is that an address, uh, at least on my laptop, has eight bytes in its representation. So if you think about the number of memory locations that can represent, a single byte can represent two to the eight numbers or addresses. Right? Since we have eight bytes, we have two to the eight to the eighth which is equal to 256 to the 8. And this is billions of gigabytes. So we are safe here. 8 bytes will represent any address that we're likely to have on our laptop. OK, so we have 8 bytes for the representation of an address. A short int uses 2 bytes instead of the standard 4 bytes. An int uses 4 bytes, as we've seen before. A long int, on my computer anyway, uses 8 bytes. A float uses four bytes. A double uses eight bytes, a double precision floating point. And a long double precision floating point uses 16 bytes. And finally, the a long double pointer, so a pointer to something of long double, also takes eight bytes, just as it did for the char pointer, because they're both addresses. 